On this week's episode of Drake Eats, we're making Mongolian beef. This gluten-free take on this classic Asian dish is sure to wow your family. We are Jonathan and Holly Drake, and we love food. Gathering around the table and sharing a good meal. When we went gluten-free, we had to reinvent our favorite family recipe. We're here to show you gluten-free cooking can be simple and delicious. Welcome to Drake Eats. We love Asian food in this house. And we love beef. So why not marry the two? Not when you do it like that. What do you mean? You just like... So John is going to start by slicing the beef. So this recipe originally, when I first found this recipe on Pinterest, it called for skirt steak. I am not a fan of skirt steak. There's too much fat. I'm just not a fan. I, I don't like my beef to be chewy. I know a lot of people like that, but I'm a filet eater to begin with. So I don't like a lot of marbling on my steak. And I know that's where all the flavor comes from, but this is just me. All right, so Jonathan is going to start. How thick do you slice this? Because you're going to want to do it in strips, okay? So I like to uh, slice the beef about, I would say, a quarter of an inch mm-hmm. thick. You don't want it too thick because then it's not going to cook. I mean, it's okay to have this not well done. You well, don't, we don't want like it well our, done. Yeah. So this it's is how you would cook your how steak. How you would cook your steak. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, but quarter yeah, the, of an inch thick. Yeah, as I say, the thickness is really important because... You're going to, I don't know if you've ever had Mongolian beef, but you know, it's in like a strip. And so you're wanting this to be like a strip of steak. Now, the great thing about this beef um, is that it takes literally two to three minutes in the pan. It's a very quick, easy dish. Um, Once you get your, we have veggies and stuff to go with it. But once you get those done, the steak itself, it takes no time to cook. So the secret to this dish, besides the sauce, you know, secrets in the sauce. Secrets in the sauce. Secrets in the sauce. Comment Uh, below if you know what movie that came from. Is it that country? Yes. Secrets in the sauce. Fried green tomatoes. Don't, I do. (laughs) I win. You ruined it. I win. Ruined my moment. What do I get? You don't win anything. Oh. Guys, I was going to do a giveaway. He ruined it. Find him. You get nothing. Yeah. You do, yeah. get nothing. So, like I was saying, other than the sauce, the best thing about this recipe is you fry this beef. Okay? And what makes it gluten-free is you're not going to do it in flour. You're going to do it in cornstarch. Now, when you're working with cornstarch, it's messier than flour. If you've ever worked with cornstarch, you know. It's awful. Forget flour being messy. Cornstarch is the worst. It's all over the place. It's everywhere. You just look at it wrong and it just explodes. But because we're fancy over here at Drake Eats, in order to get our beef fully coated, we're just going to put our cornstarch in a Ziploc bag. That's how you do it. Well, we're just fancy like that. That's how my grandma used to. It's like shake and bake. How do you do shake and bake? I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure at high-end uh, five-star restaurants, they're putting their stuff in Ziploc bags too. I think they are. Faster, it's quicker, it's more convenient. One minute, you throw this away, you don't even have to wash it. Fourth a cup of cornstarch. You can always add more, depending on your cuts of beef. I think I'm going to, based on the amount of beef, <laughs> I've got, I am seeing I've got half a minute. cow over here. I'm going to do a half a cup of cornstarch. Because you want your beef good and coated. But it already has gone everywhere, y'all. A little salt and pepper to season. Look, it's on my shirt. In a previous episode, we were doing the um, cashew nut chicken. And we did the same thing. And we did the same thing, but uh, myself did not remember to close the bag before he started Before I started shaking it, and it went everywhere. So if you haven't watched that episode, go back and watch it. Make fun of me. Put a comment. Okay, steak is done. All 16 pounds of it. We should be good. All right, so you just go put that in your zip what? Cornstarch. Cornstarch everywhere. It's everywhere. We See, may... when you drop it in, it just like plumes. It, it, it plumes. <laughs> Guys, it is it is the end of the day. It's our last episode we've we're filming. we already done two, three. Something like that. God, it feels like all day. Since we have so much meat, we're going to just do it in batches. So you may, you may need to do it in batches to get it really thoroughly coated all the way. And you know, like hamburgers, chicken, it's going to, you know, the meat's going to draw up as it cooks. So, you know, depending on, we're feeding a family of three, but technically if you count Jonathan, it's like a family of six. Hey! So, 
All right, John, then. This <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah. You know how when you open up, you know, you know when you open up an oven and you just stick your head in immediately, you like you don't like. So that's what she's doing right now. Burn off my eyebrow. All right, get it going. Let's just drop in. Oh, that sizzle. That's sizzle. All right, I'm going to now flip. Flip the beef. El beefo. El beefo. El beefo. It's a Mexican dish. So this I is about. Watch. I think that we've had this on about three or four minutes. I, I think I said two to three minutes in the beginning, but I'd say three to four minutes per side. Because you really only want to flip it once, so You right? want to flip it one yeah. time. And you're really just putting a little bit of a crust on it. It doesn't have to be, you know, yeah, it doesn't have to be super, super brown. And you do not want to overcook it because no. it can be, it can get tough if you get it too, oh. too overdone. And we've also found you don't want to overcrowd the pan. Give the pan, as you saw, like some of that was sticking together. It's yeah. not close. That's fine. That's fine. I'm no fine. one saw. No one. No fine. one saw that. There you go. That's what you're looking for right there. So I'm just gonna pull off this first batch. That one may need to go a little bit longer. Okay. So while Jonathan is finishing up that last batch, we're gonna get started on the sweet sauce that goes on our Mongolian beef. All right. So you're gonna start with half a cup of packed light brown sugar. Just throw that in your bowl. Do they make unpacked brown no, sugar? No, you. That, that's like when you scoop it out of the pack, you like pack it into oh, your measure. it doesn't cup. come like that. No. Third, a cup of soy sauce. I like to use the Sanjay. They make a gluten-free brand. It's pretty good. <laughs> Shake that up. I'm not a huge soy sauce fan by itself, but you have to have soy sauce for Asian dishes. Like, it's just, it's, well, it's in everything. Holly's not a sushi lover. No. Um, but I am. And I couldn't live without soy sauce. Third, a cup of water. One tablespoon of garlic. Two teaspoons of ginger. You can use fresh ginger. I don't know about you guys, but I have had trouble finding fresh ginger here recently. I can't find it at the grocery store. So, I live that busy mom life. If it's not at the grocery store, I'm not hunting it down. So you're just gonna mix up your sauce. And again, for this recipe, I usually will make like a side of rice. I'll throw in some broccoli, some red pepper, some onions, whatever veggies you want to throw in. Um, and then you just pour your beef on top of it, your beef sauce. And then you're just going to pour your sauce, get your beef coated in your sauce. So we've got the sauce on, we've actually got some rice going. So like Holly said earlier, typically we'll just do some rice, maybe some you know peppers and onions and things broccoli. like that, broccoli. Um, and then we'll just put the beef right over the top. That's all there is to it. Boom. So we don't have any chopsticks. Um, forgot Jonathan it. insists forgot on about, eating Forgot chopsticks. about chopsticks. Uh, so we got these uh, skewers, skewers you put on a grill. Beef. That's all we got. So, but typically I would just hold up a piece of uh, Amazing Mongolian beef like this. I'm gonna try a piece. <laughs> I can't. I can't just use them. your hands. You're like it's like he does it with sushi. He just has to use the chopsticks. Hmm. A good sweet. Bite. I'm gonna take the whole piece. Oh, okay. Mmm. The crust on there. That crisp. Really makes got it. Got the sweet sauce. So good. This is a quick, easy Asian dish. We know how hard it is to get good gluten-free mm -hmm. Asian dishes. So this one is gonna be a crowd pleaser for your family. As always guys, thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on Instagram. We'll see you next week.